In my practice, um, if a patient has, for example, a treadmill test uh, that is electrically positive, suggesting that they may have uh, ischemia or coronary blockages, but the patient doesn't have any symptoms, and the patient may be otherwise low risk for having blockages. So they don't have any traditional risk factors, such as high cholesterol, they're non-smokers, they don't have any history of heart disease in the family. And a coronary CT angiogram is a very good test uh, to put that patient through to exclude coronary disease. Um, so we can use this test uh, as an effective rule out because as I mentioned, the specificity is very good. Uh, so a negative test uh, on the CT scan effectively rules out coronary disease. So people who are lower risk or intermediate risk or who have equivocal results uh, but are otherwise low risk, I think they are very suitable candidates for a coronary CT angiogram. If people, in my opinion, who are higher risk for, a, for having coronary blockages and also may have typical symptoms such as the angina, which is the medical term for chest pain that could be coming from the heart, or they may have breathlessness, or they have multiple or higher risk for having blockages, such as basically being heavy smokers, they may be diabetic, they may have a strong family history of heart disease, they may be hypertensive, or they may have a very high bad cholesterol, uh, and they have a typical story of angina, then I tend to uh, suggest to that patient we do a, 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 a traditional invasive angiogram. The reason being is that they've got symptoms and we identify a blockage, uh, we can then and there go on to treat it with uh, either uh, balloon treatment or coronary angiogram.